Hundreds of Paul? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You paid for this, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You paid people, or what looks like people, mm -hmm, to fabricate fake emails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the intention of saying that I sent them. Yes. So that you could say I was crazy. Right now. Mm -hmm. So that you could frame me for mental illness when I'm not mentally ill. Yeah. Because the sheriff. Yeah. Uh, does or does not know. Yeah. That his office sent an email in his name. Mm. See, the the family wants to deny everything. Yes. Well, my secretary sent it. Yeah. I didn't really say that she could, but I, di I didn't say that she couldn't. Right now. Yeah. Why don't you get me your secretary, Sheriff, and her assets? Mm. In fact, the administrative staff. Yeah. Of um, the Sheriff's Department. Yeah. For the last 60 years. Mm. Now, uh, let's look at it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was sending this um, one day before you sent yours. Yeah. But two days after Paul Goodman sent his. Yes. In response to an email that I sent. Yeah. Hmm? Now, uh, missing and abducted children. Mm -hmm. um, the law would say that when you relocate without a notice to the court. Yeah. Without making an attempt to notice um, the actual father of the five sons. Yeah. They actually are missing and abducted. Poo. Mm -hmm. Now. Um, uh, the searching for my sons? Yeah. Well, that wasn't available, but they were in the newspaper. Yes. Huh? Provide law enforcement with a date, time, and location where your child was last seen, if known. Yeah. Happened to be at 7 a.m. Ouch. On, uh, July 2nd of 2011, when I did see, yeah, my sons at the Guam Airport Hotel. Mm. Uh, the names and last, uh, person, people who saw your child, if known. Mm. I provided their names, mm -hmm. their birth dates, and their social security numbers. Yeah. Now, I tried to be as helpful as possible to law enforcement. As you can see, my right to due process is not or has not been protected. Yeah. Uh, the petitioner and the protected person did not sign the court documents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my sons are missing and disappeared. Yeah. I want an email and I want my rights enforced. Yeah. The protection order, Brent. Right now. Mm -hmm. When is a protection order uh, enforceable under full faith and credit? Yeah. Huh? It is enforceable under full faith and credit. Yeah. When the court has subject matter. Yeah. And personal jurisdiction. Yeah. That's when it's enforceable. Mm -hmm. It's not when you sign it. Yeah. Or your lookalike. Uh, now, uh, subject matter, personal, and subject matter, jurisdiction. Yeah. Now, uh, Brent. When is a protection order enforceable under full faith and credit? Mm. For a protection order to be enforceable, it must meet the following conditions. Yeah, the court that issued the order must have had personal and subject matter jurisdiction. Yeah, you didn't have personal and subject matter jurisdiction on July 8th of 2011. Mm. I was in jail. <clears throat> Stipulation order, <clears throat> U.S. Territory Law. Mm. You did not have personal and subject matter jurisdiction mm -hmm. when my wife had me arrested on the 27th of May. Yeah. And she petitioned the court to renew the protection order because I was on trial mm -hmm. for the false accusation of violating the protection order that you did not have personal and subject matter jurisdiction. Yeah. Now, uh, the protection order that you modified. Yeah. Where I didn't see what it was that Pastor Greg Miller said. Yeah. Yeah. You did not have personal and subject matter jurisdiction to modify the protection order. Yeah. And then when you renewed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm, in 2013, and it was mail and publication. Mm -hmm. And then the sheriff's department committed a hate crime when they called me on the telephone. Mm -hmm. You did not have personal and subject matter jurisdiction because you cannot contact the respondent. Mm -hmm. When the court order, it says mm -hmm, mail and publication. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now. Um, when you renewed it, yes, and, and the sheriff did not serve me, no, nine weeks after the issuing of it, you did not have personal and subject matter jurisdiction. Mm. Now, when somebody motioned the court on June 1st of 2015, yeah, and it wasn't the petitioner, yes, because you did not give her within the 90 days to petition the court, yeah, you did not have personal and subject matter jealousy.